Here I just want to do a couple examples that will help remind us of a few things that we need to keep in mind when a division problem is given to us in words. So it says, what is 170.2 divided by 7.4? Okay, so I see that, and we can take these numbers in the exact order that are given. This literally means 170.2 divided by 7.4. And I know that I can take uh, the first number there when it's written like that, divided by the second number. And we know that we can't have a decimal point in the divisor, and so we will move the decimal point one to the right in the divisor and one to the right in the dividend. And so what we end up with is we are dividing 170. Uh, sorry, 1,702 by 74. All right, so we look at uh, 74. It does not go into 1. It does not go into 17. Of course, it does go into 170 twice. So 2 times 4 is 8, and then 2 times 7 is 14. So it looks like we get a remainder of a borrow here. So we're going to get 22 as our remainder. And then we drop this 2 down, of course. And 74 goes into 222. Well, how about we think of 75? That's an easy number to think of. So 75 and 75 is 150. Another 75 would be 225. And, well, 74 is a little less, is one less than 75, so maybe it will fit in three times. So let's see. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 7 plus 1 is 22. So our answer is 23. The next one says, what is 1,000 divided into 43.2? Remember this uh, tricky change in language here. Divided by and divided into give you two very different, um, very different problems. So when you say divided into, that means you're taking 43.2 and dividing it by 1,000. Right? You got to flip flop that order. But at least here we're dividing by a power of 10, so that means I can say, all right, there's three zeros in my power of 10, so I'm going to be taking 43.2. I'm not going to show any long division. I'm just going to simply send my decimal point back three places. And so, uh, of course, I have a zero here, decimal point there. So my answer ends up being 0 0.0432.